This is my brand new grizzly wood stove. Just arrived. Ta-da! And Nakai is going to help. Here, Nakai, do you want to open it? Don't know anything about manners. Do they, Grandpa? Nope. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, you want to hold the camera? I'll pull it out. I'm his grandson, by the way. Here, hold the camera and I'll pull it up. Okay. That's awesome. Cool thing, Gramps. Are we going to put this on YouTube? Yeah. Nice. Cool. There it is. Ooh. Ooh, red. I like red. Here it is sitting in its new home. When I open it up, I'm thinking, oh, they didn't give me my hardware. Well, yeah, they did. Here it is. The legs. There are the legs. And the hardware that was on us right here. There are two vents. There's one here. The back vent. And the front vent up here. Let's take a peek inside. You see it's got these baffles back there. It, it uh, read burns the smoke. It's pretty efficient. So they say. Look inside here. I'm in uh, southern Oregon and it's still fire season, so I cannot crank this thing up. Not safely. I have to wait a week, my month or so when it starts raining. Back here. Let's see there's some mounting hardware and I haven't really figured out how to how I'm going to mount this thing yet. Um, let's see there's a hole at the bottom of these legs. That's bright. Right here. So I'll probably use that. So I put down a piece of cardboard here and uh, put the guy where I want it to be. Put the bolts on the bottom that's going to bolt it in and push down real hard. So that's going to make four holes on the cardboard exactly where they line up that need to be drilled in my counter here. <clears throat> so my chimney pipe showed up. Um, it's got this white coating on it. It's actually stainless steel. And my little job is to make a hole in the roof exactly lined up with this. Well, check out what I did here. This is clever. Clever. Come on. You got to admit it. So what I did is I want to figure out exactly, you know, where this would hit the ceiling up here. Which is also the roof, um, so I can drill a hole with my hole saw, and it's gonna be exactly lined up with this because I've got, I've already got it bolted into the counter there. See, so I really don't want to have to adjust that. I just want it to work. Um, anyway, I was gonna take a piece of construction paper and wrap it around, and then kind of slide it up and then draw, you know, a circle around that, but I re suddenly realized this glass fits the chimney exactly and I had a beer can sitting next to the glass and I just put water in the glass and the beer can floated up I was like yeah and I stuck it on here and now see it made the perfect uh, adjustable thing so it just ex extends the chimney here and so that the beer can is hitting against 
up there in exactly the spot where I would want it to be if the beer can was going through the roof. So I just mark lines and I think it's going to be close enough on uh, either side of it. I didn't like I didn't measure. I just kind of eyeballed it, but I think it's close enough. And uh, yeah, and we'll find out. I mean, also theoretically, this theoretically, well, more than theoretically, um, in actuality, this should it should be an oval because the roof is um, you know is not um, level with the floor. So it should actually be a slight oval to compensate for that. Um, and the other reality is I don't believe this is like three and a quarter. I don't even think there's a hole saw that size. So the hole saw is probably going to have to be three and a half. I mean, there might be, but even so, I need to leave a little leeway. And then I will be caulking that with, um, with high temperature silicon. And then I've got a roof jack for the top. And then this, this stove pipe comes from the manufacturer of the stove. And the roof jack that I'm using was recommended by the manufacturer of the stove. I drilled a quarter inch pilot hole, same as the, the pilot hole for the, the hole saw. And I'm going to go upstairs and cut it from up top. You know what I'm doing right now? I'm hoping that hole's in the right place. That's what I'm doing right now. And let's go find out. Here it is, kind of tacked into place. So we've got to do the, we've got a piece that goes here and the roof jack goes up top there. But, um, good enough, I'm going to crank it up and do its first test inside. And uh, as you can maybe see, maybe not, I think it's showing up. Anyway, once it gets really hot, it, it kind of reburns the smoke. It's kind of gasifying. So the flames are coming from the bottom from the wood, but also down from the top as it reburns some of the smoke that's coming off. The weird thing about this, I, uh, I heated with wood. Um, I had a house with nothing but wood heat for about 15 years. And then, um, since then I had a house with both heat and wood heat and electric. So I've had quite a bit of experience. But I'm used to a, a large wood heater where, you know, you normally don't even, I don't even have to split the wood or didn't used to. Because, you know, <laughs> you could put, fit these huge oak rounds that I could barely lift. They would push them through the door onto a hot bed of coals. And uh, this one is quite different. Stuff that I'm used to thinking of is, is basically as kindling with the larger wood stove is, and it passes for righteous logs. See, this is this kind of stuff just from some of the scrap lumber I had around. But this is really good. This is what it wants is to burn stuff like this, about this size. Even this one's a little big. So it's whole different ball game but on the other side of the coin is in the wood heaters I'm used to which were the old you know old school not the new super efficient ones so I, I don't have any experience with those but the heaters I'm used to would burn, burn this up you know in about two and a half minutes <laughs> whereas in this thing there's, there's something about like that's gonna last you know half an hour maybe or more so it's it's getting a little used to taking the it's taking a little getting used to, um, but so far I like it. It's really kicking out a lot of heat in here. Um, I've got the vent open, so most of them, it'll, it'll, an awful lot of the heat is escaping. But still, it's you know it's it's over 21 degrees warmer inside here. It's not. It's only 56 degrees outside. But it's 77 in here, and that's, if I shut this, it, it'd probably be 90. And you can see the water got on here is boiling. These are also, uh, wood heaters also good as uh, 
a dehumidifier. I can tell you that from experience. So I got this little piece of sheet metal, this little strip, and just wrapped it around there, and that's being held in by spring action at the moment. And then I got a piece of sheet metal that goes over that, over this piece here. So I'm gonna go get that. And here's what this uh, looks like finished. I bought this piece at a hardware store. And spoiler alert, you can see I have done the ceiling tile. So that video is uh, coming. And uh, we'll see what it looks like from the outside. And this is, as I said, this is what was recommended by the manufacturer of the wood heater. And uh, it's caulked with high temperature silicon. And uh, yeah, and then the cap, also recommended by the manufacturer. So, it's already getting covered with creosote. And so ends another adventure in the long saga. Hey, uh. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching and uh, catch you next time later. Mm -hmm.